This video is brought to you by Gamersups. Use code MHB at checkout for 10% off your next order. Four months. It's been four months since I've seen this beautiful sight. The wheel's back. If you're new to the channel or haven't seen my previous episodes of this series, I ask you, the viewer, to comment suggestions of games you want to see me platinum. It doesn't matter how difficult or how long, I take all of your suggestions and I throw all of those games into a website called The Picker Wheel. That way I don't have to decide what to play next and you all get to have your say and hope your game gets randomly picked. So far we've Platinum, Sleeping Dogs, Deathloop, Bully, Ghostwire Tokyo, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom and The Cosmic Shake, Bioshock, Mortal Kombat 11 and Control, which I've mostly had an absolute blast with. As always, all of these videos will be in the top right hand corner or in the description if you need to catch up. Make sure if you do want to keep seeing more videos like this in the future, be sure to leave the video a like, comment below some more platinum suggestions, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and if you want to play along at home or see the list of games the wheel comprises of, click the links in the description below. But with the formalities out the way, let's spin the wheel to see what we get this time. Alright, it's been like four months since we've done a wheel video, and I've really missed doing these. <laughs> <laughs> like really missed them. I spun the wheel back in June so I've known what we had to play for a long time and just procrastinated and only started it probably a month ago. Uh, on and off it's been like my in-between game between like streams and it's just a long platinum so I was like I'll spin it I'll spin the wheel again and then you know got another longer platinum that I, now I'm also working on. So I'm working on two platinums at once uh, you may be like, just focus on, focus on them. Like that's, that's, uh, that's how you're going to get them done. But <laughs> I would like to have a shorter platinum to get the wheel back in the rotation, at least to let people know I haven't forgotten about the damn wheel. I'm hoping third time's a charm so I can work on the longer platinums and still have been like, yeah, we got a wheel video done. What's on this wheel? I have no idea at this point. It's been, it's been too long. I, I have no idea. So let's just spin the wheel. Hopefully we get something nice. Otherwise no wheel video until November. <laughs> so let's just, let's see what we get. I'm seriously, I'm dreading if this thing gives me another long one. Hot Wheels Unleashed! Damn, we're getting topical with the wheel potentially. That's a that's not a bad one. I'm actually I'm very I'm very <laughs> happy with that. After what we got in the last few spins that I'm working on, yeah, hell yeah. As I said, we've got multiple wheel projects going on at once, which I figured we'd get to this point sooner or later, given the variety of games and playtime on here. Thankfully, we finally spun for a shorter game to work on between Mammoth Platinums, and I was excited for this one. Hot Wheels Unleashed is a game I'd heard nothing but praise for at release. I enjoy a good kart slash arcade racer, and this was a game I owned on my PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, and yet somehow had still not played the game. This was the perfect excuse to finally try the game out, especially with the sequel right around the corner, and grab another quick and easy platinum along the way. Or so I thought. According to PSM Profiles, Hot Wheels Unleashed is a bit more challenging than I expected, scoring a 5 out of 10 in terms of difficulty and taking around 30 hours to complete. Nothing crazy, but both the difficulty and time to complete did surprise me, as you know, it's a Hot Wheels game. I just didn't know what could possibly be so challenging or time consuming about this Platinum, but the reason does smack you in the face pretty early on. But if you have no idea what Hot Wheels Unleashed is all about, here's the basics. Unleashed is an arcade style racing game set within the parameters of a Hot Wheels racetrack and has us controlling some dope Hot Wheels. That's about it. There's no story or in-depth mechanics we really need to dive into here. It is what it sounds like. So with everyone now caught up, let's get this platinum. All right, so the first step and really the longest step in Hot Wheels Unleashed is to 100% the story mode, City Rumble. This one step will have you unlocking a majority of the trophies just by naturally playing because it is a hefty mode. There's 52 races to win, 
32 time trials to get the fastest time on, 5 boss races that are just longer races with new obstacles to defeat, and 9 secrets to find and unlock. It's a much bigger campaign mode than I was expecting and because of that a lot of the trophies are just unlocked from playing the game. Our overall goal was to unlock the trophy King of the City for 100%ing the story mode and the trophies just came in bunches from there. Even before you can do anything you get a trophy as you boot up the game for opening our first blind box. Sort of gives you an idea as to what to expect, or at least that's what I thought. But as we made our way through the story just casually playing, we unlocked a whole heap of trophies for doing things like completing the tutorial, winning a race on all five of the different backdrops, complete an unleashed goal which we need to do for all races and time trials and it's just an extra objective, like win a race instead of finishing second or third or beating a time trial with the faster time. We'll dive into this a little bit more later. Reach the podium in 10, 30 and 50 races. Open 10 and 50 blind boxes. Use boost for a total of 10, 30, and 60 minutes. Grabbed a total of 10,000 coins. Upgraded a common Hot Wheel to rare once and 10 times. Upgraded a rare Hot Wheel to legendary. Bought something from the shop. Unlocked a secret event grabbed a total of 2,500 gears, drifted for a total of half a million centimeters, you know, cause the car's a little, <laughs> defeated a boss race and all boss races, which in turn unlocks a secret hot wheel for another trophy. 27 trophies unlocked, we're halfway done and that was just for completing all the boss races around the map. But even though I'd managed to knock out quite a lot of the 100% requirements just by going for the boss races, there was still a lot of content here I needed to make my way through, the easiest of which was to complete all 9 of the secret events, which are unlocked by doing something specific like winning a race with the bus for example. Not too bad, but the time trials were kicking my ass throughout this process. Even on races I did well on, drifting and boosting frequently to maintain speed, I always felt like I was barely scraping by on the unleashed times, which we needed for 100%, and the further you get into the map, the harder these damn trials are. This is where I felt, okay, this Platinum has a skill requirement. As easy as most of these trophies are, you need to be good enough at the game to get these time trials done. I'm no schmuck at these types of games and I was seriously struggling to shave down those precious seconds I needed in some of these tracks. I was getting flustered, I cannot lie, so I made sure to tackle some other trophies along the way, which is where the Now Try Online trophy came in and saved the day. Beating the AI on hard, even for a single race, is brutal. One bump, nudge, miss a boost and you're not winning. You need to be flawless because the AI is going to be, and if you lose first place, you're not getting it back. Anyway, tough trophy that was kicking my butt, and that's where, for whatever reason, I finally realised there has to be shortcuts on these maps to get ahead and save time. Shortcuts in these types of games range from simple to, I'll say, unlikely for most, to put it kindly. But in Hot Wheels, at least in the main tracks, most people can use these shortcuts outside of a couple. So with that revelation that occurred far too late in the game, I got my research on, first of all, for the easiest shortcut that would lead to the easiest way to beat the AI on hard, and with that information, the rest of the time trials I had left over that had given me so much grief up to this point would be done in no time. Seriously, look into the shortcuts if you're struggling as they shave off a lot of time. But with all that information, I knocked out the race against the hard AI very easily and honestly smashed through the rest of the time trials finally fully completing the campaign mode and unlocking the trophies for completing all the unleashed goals and unlocking all secret rarity vehicles, which just come from completing the campaign map. 
Oh, and around this time I'd opened up my 100th blind box as well. And just like that, the first step was complete, leaving us with just 13 trophies left. But hang on, there's more than that on the tracker. Well, yeah, that's because I also 100%ed all three of the DLC trophy lists as well. And honestly, they aren't anything special. They all have the same three trophies. Upgrade a common rarity vehicle from said expansion. Complete an unleash goal in their campaign map. And win a quick race on a track from the DLC. Super simple, super quick, even if the quick race only seems to work in the actual quick race mode, not campaign for whatever reason. But yeah, not much else to say about the DLCs trophy wise, the Hot Wheels and maps are pretty cool. But now we have 13 trophies left and first things first, I went straight to the track builder as we needed to validate and complete 5 working tracks. This is really easy. All you need to do if you're not particularly good at these types of modes is select course, not circuit, place down a couple of pieces and a finish line, and then we can validate it with a quick drive, do that five times, and we're done. Nice and easy, but next comes the stressful part. Online multiplayer. I'll be honest, I did think I was going to have to boost this, which you can if you're having trouble, but I thought the only people playing this game would be god tier at it, and that wasn't really my experience. Absolutely, some people are still cracked at this game, but you can get a garbage lobby pretty frequently, it seems, making the multiplayer trophies some of the most fun I had in the game, which doesn't happen too often. There's just three online trophies here and we knocked them out pretty quickly as we won our first online race, reached the podium three times, and won five races total. Knowing those shortcuts and some creative user tracks helped me tremendously here. But here comes the more grindy elements of Hot Wheels Unleashed, outside of finishing a split screen race that's self-explanatory. All we had left in this Platinum was to finish in the top 3 of 100 races, get a total of 100,000 coins, 25,000 gears, and upgrade 15 rare cars to Legendary. Doesn't seem too bad, and upgrading the rare cars again really isn't the issue here, as I was working through that most of the campaign, which is why I unlocked it relatively quickly in this endgame process. The issue is, after all this playtime, all this work so far, I was only just about to unlock the trophies for 10,000 gears and 50,000 coins. I wasn't even halfway done with these currencies and I figured, okay, this is where my playtime essentially doubles, right? This is why it's got a 30 hour completion time, awesome. Thankfully, it's not that bad, but it's so incredibly boring if you want to be time efficient. Again, we needed to finish top 3 in 100 races, so I went into quick races, found the fastest track to complete, and did that over and over and over again, and the 100 races didn't take too much longer. But even after that was done, I was stuck with this one race because it was the fastest way to guarantee 500 coins. 500 coins for a win, this track takes around a minute 45 to complete, that's 200 wins total to get to 100,000 coins, which while brain numbing was the fastest way to knock this out. Yes, a win in multiplayer awards more coins but is not a guarantee, and no, the sitting in a lobby method no longer works. But at least the coins were useful, the gear grind was terrible and just felt like pissing away my collection of cars. Again, the best way to get your gears up is to purchase the blind boxes, if it's rare or above, break it down immediately for 100 plus gears, if it's common, go into your collection, upgrade it to rare, and then break it down. I was focusing on this method for a long ass time, but the issue is, I had no clue how close or far I was, and I couldn't keep up this race grind for coins any longer, so I decided to go into the campaign map and go through the DLC. I saw here they had 300 to 500 gears as some rewards, and I figured that would at least boost up my tally if nothing else by the end of it all. This I actually had fun with, as the DLC maps are a lot of fun and can be really creative, and wouldn't you know it, 
when you get big chunks of gears, 25,000 comes a lot quicker, and just like that, the trophy popped, along with the platinum. And our time with Hot Wheels Unleashed was complete. So, after 21 hours in total, still 9 hours better than the guide, I'll take it, what did I think of Hot Wheels Unleashed Platinum and the game in general? As a game, Hot Wheels Unleashed was such a blast, and the attention to detail in the cars and aesthetic is top tier. Some maps feel very samey or like they repeat too often in the campaign, but it's a good time and the multiplayer was a real highlight for me. It was so much fun. The Platinum I'm less glowing about and that's once again because of the grind at the end. This was a totally natural play and you'll get the Platinum type of game that I loved. But the very end just feels like they're trying to pad the playtime, especially back at release with no DLC campaigns to make the gear grind easier. Hell no. However, despite that, I can still recommend the game and this Platinum if only because 21 hours isn't too long. It's not an enormous grind and whilst brain numbing, I think the majority of this journey was a lot of fun and I'm actually really excited to see what the sequel has in store for us now. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Feels good to be back doing these types of videos and plenty more to come. Make sure if you did enjoy the video to leave it a like because it helps let me know that you enjoyed yourself. Comment below some more platinum suggestions. Let's keep the series going. Thank you to all my channel members for that extra level of support and special thanks to those in the Bear Club, GNT Puppy, Jackie White, Nugget and Dark Wolf, it really does mean a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, go give my socials a follow if you fancy at Mayor Hair Bear, join the Discord server to have a chat, go and chuck me a follow on Twitch if you want to see some of these Platinum journeys live, and I'll catch you all in the next video.